In today's video, I want to discuss with you some simple and effective ways to bind C. difficile toxins so you can neutralize those toxins, feel better faster, and speed your recovery. Basically, how can you quench the fire of C. difficile? So what is C. difficile? It's a bacterial infection in the gut. It typically starts after a broad spectrum antibiotic has been used, uh, often from the dentist or other reasons you've had an infection going. When that antibiotic gets into the gut, it will indiscriminately kill both good and bad bacteria. A lot of people actually have C. difficile in their gut, but when the good flora that normally holds it in check is killed by that antibiotic, it allows C. difficile to start growing in the gut. And when that happens, people will notice some really uncomfortable symptoms, including diarrhea, nausea, stomach upset. Uh, more advanced or severe cases of C. difficile result in inflammation of the colon, and very severe cases can even be life-threatening. The interesting thing about C. difficile is it's actually common in many people's GI systems, and it's not until there's an imbalance of the gut flora that it will actually get out of balance, produce toxins, and cause all of the very uncomfortable and debilitating symptoms of C. difficile. Now, as I mentioned, um, most, it's about 25% of antibiotic-associated diarrhea ends up as C. difficile infections. So it's pretty common for antibiotic use to cause this infection. So what causes all of the terrible gut symptoms? Well, there's two toxins that C. difficile bacteria make. One is called toxin A and the other is toxin B. Now C. difficile make these toxins when they're actively growing uh, when they're not held in check by those good gut bacteria, they start overgrowing. When they overgrow, they produce these toxins. Both of these toxins are what causes all of the damage in the intestine. Uh, they're cytotoxic. It'll actually affect the cell lining of the intestine. It can kill the cells of the intestine. There are normally gaps between the cells that are supposed to be tight and it will weaken those gaps so that there is space between the intestinal cells, which that allows toxins, microbes, different things from your gut into your body, which also causes an inflammatory, or at least it can cause an inflammatory response in the body. So these toxins are extremely inflammatory. They cause all kinds of damage to the gut. When that damage happens, the immune system starts responding. There's an influx of water into the intestine, and that is why the diarrhea starts up. It can be mild diarrhea. It can be very severe diarrhea. And there was a 2021 study that examined the toxin concentration, toxin A and toxin B of C. difficile, in stool samples, and they found the more severe the GI symptoms were, the more toxins there were in the stool. Like basically the higher the concentration of these toxins, the greater the severity of the symptoms. So that's why neutralizing these toxins is so important to reducing your symptoms, uh, the diarrhea, the inflammation, uh, the killing of those intestinal cells by that toxin. So slowing down, binding up, neutralizing those toxins here is key to quelling that fire. So one of my favorite ways I found to feeling better faster is binding up those toxins. is basically like mopping up the toxins in the gut so they can't cause all that damage and destruction. These are done through toxin binders, and it's a kind of a different concept. When I was working with my doctor and they were prescribing me antibiotic after antibiotic for my resistant sinus infections, I never heard of toxin binders. Um, you can think of something like um, when you, if somebody has ingested something poisonous, Poison Control Center will say, take a bunch of charcoal and that will bind up that poisonous substance. Well, toxin binders are like that, and there's all different kinds of toxin binders. 
uh, what they do, it's, it's a very simple way to get relief. And simply you take these binders by mouth, they go into your digestive system, they gobble up all those toxins and anything that's negative in your gut, and they'll simply pass on through your digestive system until they're eliminated through the stool. The process of binding up those gut toxins, in this case the C. difficile toxins, will really help soothe your gut tissue and help allow the healing process, or at least your treatments to be better, uh, at least will allow your treatments to be more effective because you're not dealing with all the toxins and the negative side effects of those toxins. Some binders also have anti-inflammatory properties in the gut, and with C. difficile that's a really positive thing to have as well. They do support the gut barrier function, which the C. difficile toxins will uh, break that apart. They also support a healthy immune system function inside of your GI system, which most of your, at least a good portion of your immune system function is found within your GI system. So the first toxin binder I want to talk about are immunoglobulins. And another word for immunoglobulins, sometimes they're called antibodies. And antibodies are made by immune cells of the body, and they are made in response to pathogens or toxins. The body will identify them, label that toxin or pathogen, and then the immune system will come by, pick that up and escort it or destroy it uh, so it's not a problem in the body. Now immunoglobulins, as I said, are one type of toxin binder. They bind biological toxins, in this case C. difficile A and B toxins. They bind um, endotoxins, which is another form of toxins bacteria make, and lipopolysaccharides, which is a type of endotoxin, as well as some kinds of pathogens. Now the neat thing about immunoglobulins is they focus on biotoxins. They can be bacterial toxins, fungal toxins, even viruses. So when immunoglobulins are taken by mouth into the digestive system, they will go into the gut and bind to anything that they have been targeted for. If it's a C. diff toxin, a fungus, a pathogen, they bind to those and escort them out through the elimination of the GI system. They reduce and bind harmful particles and even some pathogenic organisms. As I already mentioned, they do bind to C. diff toxins A and B. They also bind to aflatoxins, which is a type of mold toxin, uh, lipopolysaccharides, uh, candida albicans, and some of the proteins that they make, so that's important for anyone dealing with yeast infections. H. pylori, they also bind to, which is a common stomach infection as well as staphylococcus and all kinds of other pathogens and particles and proteins and molecules. So it's very broad spectrum in its ability to bind biological toxins. This um, immunoglobulin binder comes in handy for all kinds of gut issues, whether it's C. diff or IBS or SIBO, any kind of uh, yeast or fungal overgrowth, bacterial overgrowth in the GI system, that's where it stays inside of the GI system, binds up those molecules and escorts them out of the body so they're not causing damage to your intestinal uh, and your GI tract. The thing I like about these Im immunoglobulins is they've had over 45 human clinical studies performed on them and there's uh, tons of data about all the different kinds of uh, biotoxins and different things that they do inside the human body. They're very safe, very gentle. Um, they reduce, they've been found to reduce gut inflammation. That's just part of what they do uh, outside of binding the toxins. They help with that intestinal damage. They improve gut barrier function, those tight junctions that are supposed to exist between the intestinal cells. Uh, they help that stay tight and not loose and leaky. And also folks who've had IBS and all kinds of gut disorders, uh, the use of an immunoglobulins has improved their quality of life scores. 
their symptoms improve, the diarrhea improves, all their GI symptoms. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, studies and results from them. So it's just a very positive, favorable, gentle toxin binder that's great to use. Now another type of toxin binder would include uh, clay, charcoal, and zeolites. This would be more of a broad spectrum toxin binder. This kind of toxin binder not only binds biotoxins, but it will also bind heavy metals, organic chemicals, uh, say like uh, and inorganic um, glyphosates or chemical exposures. But the heavy metals is a different um, spectrum that this one, this type of toxin binder will perform as it goes through the gut and binds to those chemicals. Just like the immunoglobulins, it's excellent for binding to biotoxins like the C. diff toxins and also those heavy metals. It also reduces the gut damage inside the intestine just like the immunoglobulins do. Now this kind of charcoal and clay toxin binder is a really what you want to add on if you're going to use a natural antimicrobial treatment that also breaks down biofilms. A lot of chronic infections in the body and in the gut are biofilm infections and uh, when those break down and release the bacteria they also can release heavy metals and so this is a nice um, addition to your therapy to bind up those toxins. So when it comes down to it, both of these toxin binders, they work a little bit differently, but they both help bind those C. diff toxins so you can get symptom relief, so you can feel better. It will help reduce those debilitating gut symptoms. Now there's some pros and cons to each of these types of toxin binders. The clay charcoal toxin binder will also bind to uh, medications and supplements. So just like poison, the poison control example, if somebody ate something, poison control would say you need to take some charcoal. Well, you don't want to take charcoal type binders with important supplements, medications, or foods because it will just start binding to those medications and foods and inactivating a lot of them. So you don't want to do that. These types of charcoal clay binders are best taken away from food, generally one to two hours uh, before or after you've eaten a meal or taken your uh, supplements or medications. So one of the advantages of the immunoglobulins as a toxin binder is they will not bind to supplements or medications. They can be taken together if you wish. But again, these type of toxin binders will not bind to heavy metals if that's a concern of yours. Now, either binder you do take, whether it's the immunoglobulins or a charcoal clay binder, you want to take them on an empty stomach when it comes to C. difficile because you want that binder to focus on the gut. If you take it at the same time as a meal, uh, there might be toxins from your vegetables or something you've eaten, which is real common in salad. You're going to have uh, microbes that grow on those uh, leaves of lettuce or tomatoes. So you want that binder to focus on what's in the gut. So don't confuse it with uh, food. Take it on an empty stomach so it will go through and focus on the C. difficile, or those toxins A and B. So both the immunoglobulins and charcoal clay binders are very gentle. They're very easy to take. They don't have you know, a lot of negative side effects. They just simply go in and absorb what they absorb and take it on out of the body. Both can be taken if you're uh, currently on antibiotics. They can be used together, but the charcoal and clay, you would not want to take it at the same time you take an antibiotic because it's going to bind to that antibiotic. Both types of toxin binders can also be used with probiotics. Um, they can, again, immunoglobulins could be taken with the probiotic, but again, the charcoal and the clay toxin binder, you would want to keep it by itself uh, one or two hours away from any probiotic 
medication or antibiotic. So toxin binders, they're very simple and very effective at going into the gut and grabbing those toxins so you can get symptom relief from C. difficile, toxins A and B. This is an important part of really healing and recovering so you can get relief inside of your intestines so they can start healing while you're using antibiotics or antimicrobials or probiotic therapies alongside. It's just a great way so you can start getting relief, you can start feeling better, you can start minimizing the damage from those toxins while you're working on recovery. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please like and subscribe. You can also find more information about these products and how to order them through the links in the description below.